Investment decisions are the first type of decisions in financial management. For making investment decisions, we need to understand why does the business need the money? Will the money invested through the business earn higher returns than the cost of the funds? The business may need money for long-term investments like land, building, machinery and other fixed assets. These decisions are called capital budgeting decisions. The business may also need money for short-term investments like uh, maintaining some levels of cash, some levels of inventory and receivables. And these decisions are called working capital decisions. Long-term investments must be based on factors like expected return on investment or uh, ROI, risk assessment of the business and the project, the cost of capital, strategic fit, time horizon, economic and market conditions, technology and innovation, competitor actions, tax implications, environmental, social and governance considerations, human resources and talent needs. Short-term investment decisions, which deal with the levels of cash, inventory and receivables, affect the day-to-day -day working of a business, the liquidity and also the profitability of the business. So, efficient cash management, inventory management and receivables management are essential ingredients of sound or good working capital management. What are some of the factors affecting both capital budgeting and working capital decisions? The first is cash flows of the project. The expected cash flow affects the liquidity of the business and a timing mismatch between the expected cash flows and the expected need for funds may jeopardize short-term operations. For example, if you take a loan from a bank that is repayable in one year, but your business will start generating cash only after two years, then there is a mismatch. So your investment decision should be based on whether you will be able to balance between the expected cash flow and the expected need for cash. Rate of return. The expected rate of returns should be calculated to assess the viability of the project and also to select between alternative options of funding. For example, if you take a loan at 10% per annum interest and invest it in a business that will give you 8% returns per annum, there is a mismatch because you will definitely make a loss. So you should invest in that business only if you can get funds at a rate which is significantly lower than the expected rate of returns. And also other investment criteria which includes factors like the amount of investment, is it worth the risk, build or buy options, do you need to start a new business or should you just buy an existing business, and concentration or diversification risks should also be considered while making investment decisions. In short, investment decisions will decide why do you need the money and is the project or the business worth investing in.